Hey guys, so we're moving on to question eight now, which is the beginning of the more in-depth geometry questions, right? So just a point here, it's a good idea to have your highlighters on hand because we're going to need them. Let's see what this diagram is telling us. So it says, in the diagram alongside, CD is parallel to NH. So I'm just using an orange highlighter to show that. It says, NH intersects DE at G, okay? Then it says, K is a point on DE with DG equaling GK, right? So basically, this guy here is equal to this guy here. And they've given an indication of that by using that little sign. Then they said, HK is parallel to FE. Now, remember, you might be thinking, oh, why is this important? But remember, when we have these parallel lines like this within a triangle, you should be thinking about the proportionality theorem, right? Which says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. So we know that the proportion of F to H, right, to F to D is the same as E to K and E to D, okay? So don't get all like hung up on that right now, but I just want you to remember that this is what um, parallel lines can mean, okay? So let's just get into the question and see what's going on. Oh, wait, we, did, we didn't look at our last piece of information. It says CN is a ra in ratio to CE is two to five. So I've said, okay, well, CN is two and in relation to CE, right, is five. So that'd be two and that'd be three and this whole side is five, okay? Then it says, determine EK over KG, okay? So let's look where EK is. So EK, EK is here, okay? And then we have KG, okay? But we know, right, that CN over NE, right, CN over NE, right, equals the same as DG, right, DG to GE, which is 2 over 3. Now, you could be saying, why is that? Well, it's exactly what I told you before. It's a proportionality theorem, right? Because if we turn this around, right, you'll see that this is a triangle, right? These two lines are parallel. Therefore, the proportion of this side to that side, or this side to that side is the same as this side to that side. That's a proportionality theorem, right? And that's literally what we're leveraging here. So I'm going to say prop theorem, okay? Then we're going to say, but we also know, right, we're given this, that DG equals GK, and that's given, right? So we know that if that equals 2, right, which we've said it equals, so if that equals, we're doing proportions now, if that equals 2, then that also equals 2. But we know that whole side equals 3, therefore that has to equal 1 in order to keep that ratio, right? So we're taking all the information that we've got into consideration, which means that EK over KG equals 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2. 1 over 2, right? So we're using the proportionality theorem to get our answer. Let's now move on to the next question. Now, the next question is an interesting one because we are looking at, right, an area question. So you should be thinking, you should be going to your um, formula sheet and you should be thinking this area formula of a triangle, okay? But let's say, let's see which two triangles we're looking at, right? So it says, try the, uh, the area of triangle DGH. Let's get a little um, highlighter. So we... Are D, G, H. So that's that, right? Um, in a fraction, right? Um, over area of D, E, F. D, E, F. Let's use, I'm running out of colors. Let me use yellow. D, D, E, F. Okay, so we see that DEF, right, is larger than DGH. So we would expect it to be a fraction. We don't expect it to be more than one, okay? That's just like a high-level thought that we're seeing there. 
But let's now think, right? Because we have proportionality, right? We have proportionality. So I just want us to to put little variables in here because I want you to remember that just because it's two to three here and it's two to three here, it doesn't mean that they're all five units long, right? So I'm going to say this is 2p to 3p. This is, let's just call that 2q, 2q, 1q, right? So it's still saying it's in the same ratio, but they could, they, they're different lengths, right? They're same ratio, different lengths. It's important, right? But then if we go like this and we turn it like this, we see that this side should then actually be like 4m, right? Because if this, those two together are 4q, right? And if we use the proportionality theorem, that side should also be 4. Different variable, because remember I'm saying it's not the same length, it's in the same ratio, different things. This is 1q, so that should be 1m. Okay, so now we know in these two triangles, right, there's a common angle, isn't there? This angle, D. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use this area formula, but make sure that this C that we see there is that common angle, D, and then we can just cancel it, right? Because it'll be at the top and it'll be at the bottom, and then we can cancel it. So that's actually quite handy. So let us write this out, okay? So... We're going to say, right, just so that the marker knows what we're talking about, we're going to say, well, dH, right, over HF equals 4 over 1, right? And we're going to say, yeah, that's a proportionality there, okay? We're literally just writing out what I showed you over there, okay? Then we're going to say, well, okay, we know that dE we're going to say DE, the length of DE over there, right? We're going to say that equals 5Q, right? And then we're going to say, well, DF, which is the other side of the triangle, equals 5M. Oh, that's hideous writing, Mark. Okay, cool. So we, we're just putting these ratios into um, more concrete form for us to use, right? But we also are showing the marker our processing, Okay, now we're going to do area of triangle DGH over area of triangle DEF, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say a half, because both of them have a half, right, which is going to cancel, because we are using this formula, which is half AB times sine C, okay? So I'm just going to put the sine part in. Because both of them have sine angle D, sine angle D, okay? Then what we're going to do is if we're doing, if we're looking at this C here, right? Our C here, we said is D. So we're going to need to figure out what A and B is or R, A and B are, okay? So in our top triangle, right, our A is going to be, 2q and our b is going to be 4m okay because remember you always do the two sides and the angles in between okay then let's do the bottom okay again we have d but here it's going to be 5q and 5m right 5q because that's the length of that side and 5m okay so we're going to say 5q times 5m now we can do some cancellation. Those cancel, those cancel. The M's cancel, the Q's cancel. And that's why it's not a problem if you put those variables in there, right? Because it gives the marker indication that you know what you're talking about, right? But it also allows you to remember that we're talking about ratios and not just lengths. Okay, that's the thing that's always quite confusing about the proportionality theorem is that students often think that it's a length. It's not a length. Proportionality, by definition, proportion means ratio, right? Okay, so let's now simplify this. That's going to be 8 over 25. Okay, so that's our final answer there, 8 over 25. Okay, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to do 8b and we'll see whether we revisit our proportionality theorem. I hope that was helpful, guys. Cheers.